Hey, it's Stephen Bruce Wong with Automation Experts, and today I'm going to walk you through setting up a Cognex camera with a computer step by step. This is one of the worst uh, parts, I think, of setting up any new servo motor or automation technologies, just getting it to talk to and communicate with the device, uh, the computer that you're using to program it. So let me walk you through step by step and, and see if I can uh, save you some grief. <laughs> So without further ado, let's let's get to it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is open up Inside Explorer. You should be able to just download it off of the Cognex website and install it. There are a few interesting little nuances on how to get that running, but I'll make another tutorial on how to do that. So I've just opened up Inside Explorer, and the first thing I wanna do is I wanna connect to the camera, which should be down here, but uh, it's not, and sometimes that can be frustrating. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go to the menu at the top, click system, and then click add sensor slash device to network. Okay, and it's not, it may not show anything here. Um, make sure that your box or your radio button down here is select show all. Uh, you know, you probably only wanna select show new if you have a whole bunch of cameras and other devices on the network already, but since I don't and I'm just trying to connect to uh, the single camera that I'm testing with right now, I'm going to click show all and hit refresh. <clears throat> so there it popped up. Uh, and it's, you know, a lot of the time the default setting is obtain, set to obtain IP address automatically, DHCP. Uh, I'm going to change this to use the following network settings. Now I know that these uh, already work, but here's how I would determine your network settings. So I would go to your start menu if you're on a Windows machine, type in CMD, go to your command prompt, <clears throat> type ipconfig, go to your wireless LAN or your uh, wired LAN connection, <clears throat> and you're going to see here what your IPv4 address is, and also the subnet mask. So I would copy the subnet mask uh, exactly. So you can see here I have 255.255.255.0. So that's what I'm going to put here in the subnet mask. And this is all assuming that your net internet already works on your computer, of course. <clears throat> And then we're going to go to uh, here, so 192.168.1.103. So that's the address of this machine here. So I need to pick a, a number, the last number, as something different. So I'm just going to go 192.168, which is the same. Uh, what did it say? 1. 1. And I'll leave it at 106 because that's a different address than, uh, I think, all the other computers on the network. So I'm going to hit Apply. and hit OK. And it's now going to restart the device or the camera. All right. So now you should see that the, the camera appears. You can close out of this. You can now see that the camera appears down here and then that you can access it. So once you access it, uh, there's a little icon here that says live video. So if the camera supports that feature, you can click the live video button and then you can see a live video. Uh, that's a nice way to test it. Or you could also just uh, use F5, which is uh, the trigger, the keyboard shortcut. So if I hit F5, oh, what's happened there? Sorry, I have to click the camera first and click connect. I can connect to this camera and this time it should connect. There we go. So live video isn't an option for this camera, but I can hit the trigger button. I'll just move the camera around a little bit so you can see. Um, you just see different parts of my desk here, but basically I can hit F5 and it will start triggering the camera. So there you go. So another quick little feature here, if you're not quite sure if the camera is responding, um, you can go to system, add sensor, uh, sensor device to network, show all and refresh, select that the, ca the camera that you want. I only have one on here right now. And now you click this flash lights button. So 
So obviously when you plug this in, uh, you should be able to see the power indicator go on. You should also be able to see the ethernet uh, active if and, and the link button if it's uh, properly connected to the computer. And when I hit that flash lights button, it's just gonna alternate uh, these top two lights here. I just turn it off and then I hit flash lights and it's responding. So that way I know that uh, I'm communicating properly with the camera. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope you got something out of this and it made your life slightly less frustrating if you are dealing with a Cognex camera. If you want to see more about uh, what Cognex cameras are capable of, stay tuned for uh, the other, the rest of the videos in the series that will be coming out on this channel. Um, if you have any questions about Cognex, what they're able to do, uh, what vision cameras in general uh, are able to do, or if you just have any specific questions about how to use uh, Cognex cameras, please leave them in, in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Stephen Bruce Wong from Automation Experts, and I will see you in the next one.